Hey, good morning. You know I say it every day, but I never get tired of hearing Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works. You know, the last couple of days I've been talking to you about not being moved by what you see. Now I'm outside on the front porch and the sun's coming up. You might hear the birds singing in the background. And that's wonderful. That's beautiful. But that even doesn't have anything to do with the word working. You see, when Jesus came to the disciples walking on the water, Peter said, Lord, if that bid me be you, bid me come. And Jesus said, come. Well, Peter was doing just fine walking on the water until he began to get his eyes off of Jesus, who was the word in the beginning was the word. The word was with God. The word was God, John chapter one, verse one. But when he began to get his eyes off of the word and consider the circumstances. Now, listen to me here today. Circumstances can be good or circumstances can be bad, but either one, you don't need to look at them. You need to look at, by his stripes, I was healed. He sent his word and healed me and keep that in the midst of what's going on up here rather than the doctor's report says something bad or that I feel good. I mean, the fact that I feel good, and I do, I mean, today, you know, I feel great. There's nothing wrong with my body that I know of. I've got some issues I'm working on, sure. But feeling good has nothing to do with the word. So I can't look at that. I can't consider that. No more than I can consider the bad, which also has nothing to do with Jesus, bore my sicknesses and carried my diseases. So what you got to do is make a decision today to consider only what the word says. Now, see, my wife loves me. There are days I don't feel like I'm loved. Uh, you know, there are days we don't have, that we don't stay together, that we, I go our, my way and she goes hurt. But that has nothing to do with the fact that she still loves me. Well, God loves you and his word is working for you. In fact, I love this verse over there in the book of Acts where it says, and the word grew, multiplied, and prevailed. You see, the word is growing in you. Well, you might say, well, you know, I've been studying the word now for weeks, or I've been studying the word for months. Even years has nothing to do with it because the power is in the word. Let's go over there to Isaiah chapter 55. So shall my word be, verse 11, it shall not return unto me void. Now watch this. Peter was walking on the word, but he began to consider the wrong things and doubt came in. There's powerful teaching there. If you're looking at the wrong thing, doubt will come in, choke the word so that that word can't produce. Maybe you're driving an old dog car down the road and you'd like to have a new one. Keep your eyes on your vision and on your dream. <clears throat> Don't gripe about, murmur, complain about the car that you're driving because that has nothing to do <clears throat> with the fact that God grants you the desires of your heart. Listen, I've driven some old dog cars and I've driven some really fine cars. The fine ones or the doggy ones have nothing to do with my God shall supply all of your needs and grant you the desires of your heart. Hey, I got to go. Have a great day. Until I'm with you tomorrow, you remember today, Jesus is Lord. Thank God that word works.